Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We, of course, are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? Um, we got these sent over to us by the, the old homie, the Connor. Goat. Yeah, shout out to Connor. He sent these over, um, and these are heat seekers. These are the UA heat seeker. That's kind of a weird name. I mean, they like should have just gone. Seeker, heat seeking missile. Yeah, they should have just gone with like the UA Drive 4 knit or something. Yeah, that, like... that is true because this is very much the Drive 4 low. Except with a knit upper, like like That's pretty I, much I, what it is. I put on the I, uh, on IG. I took a picture of these and posted on IG, and I put Heat Seeker, and then everyone was asking, "What is the name of the shoe?" <laughs> I'm like, "It's the Heat Seeker." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, it's it's a awkward kind of weird name, and then you know probably because it, did, it doesn't sound like a name, I guess, right? Yeah, why? Well, I, I think it's a good name for a shoe, but right. it's just kind of confusing because this is the Drive Fort Low. Yeah. But uh, anyways. We move on. Um, yes, uh, Under Armour doesn't have these yet, but I believe they will have it soon. And Zappos has it or whatever. Yeah, if you guys want to copy from there. Um, but anyways, let's start off right with the Tractiones with a multi-directional herringbone. It's amazing. Traction is mm -hmm. really, really good. It picks up a little bit of dust, but once you wipe dust off, and it's a pretty light wipe, then you have a few really good stops. You're gonna have to wipe again. Nothing really too bad on dust. On a clean court, you're gonna be good to go. Very, very good uh, stopping power, a very good bite, um, and even outdoor use should be good. Um, it's a herringbone, and it's a pretty hard. Eh? It's on the softer side, but the uh, it's not super soft. And, They're pretty thick, and it's pretty thick. So outdoor use should be okay. Mm -hmm. So overall, traction is really good. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Now moving on to the cushion. Of course, it's the same exact. Thing as the uh, dry four and the dry four low and whatnot. It's your uh, I, I forgot what it was. I think it's a EVA carrier. And then there's a micro G or charged um, exposed in the heel or whatever. And uh, it's not bad. Um, I, I take this over like a Phylon, like a really stiff Phylon. Uh, it's a little bit softer than that, but nothing crazy. But it gets the job done. It's very responsive, and I like that. I, I love responsive uh, cushions. Uh, and, and impact protection isn't horrible like in Kyrie 3s and stuff like that so I'll take that and uh, heel to toe transition is not bad and um, yeah overall it's just it's it's just the overall like responsive nice pre pretty nice cushion nothing crazy amazing but uh, I'll take it you know mm -hmm. uh, now getting on the meat of this review is the upper yes uh, they changed the heel counter shape a little bit um, Probably obviously because it's uh, you know a little less supportive of a material. Yeah, because like remember it. remember in the dry four it was like a really hard plastic. Yeah, that would dig into my heel a little bit, mm. you know. So um, they made it a lot softer in the materials. Like it feels like a really rubberized plastic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's pretty pliable too. Yeah. Um. So there's that, and then of course there's the knit material. Uh, the knit is a little stretchy, but it's not super stretchy. I'd say it's. There's minimal stretch to it, but it's really soft and pliable, and there's really no breaking time to it. It is a one booty upper with the uh, knit ankle, like stretchy knit in the ankle or whatever. And the materials are freaking nice. Mm -hmm. I love this iteration of knit. Yeah, it looks nice. Yes, and um, yeah, there's nothing bad I can really say. Maybe it's just, maybe it just stretches just a little bit, and they could have mm -hmm. added something. To make it less stretchy or whatever but it's not even that bad so uh, i really like the material choice mm -hmm. that ua made um i don't know if they're calling it anything the ua name right like speed former or whatever yeah they should t t totally name it but uh it's just it, it's it's a really nice material nice um you got a nice little texture in here too inside where your achilles is it's like a yes. different kind of almost suede-ish material um, yeah so there's that and it's got nice little touches on it it seems like a uh, doesn't seem cheap. No, it doesn't seem cheap at all. It seems super premium. Yes. So moving on to fit, uh, I went through the size, and it, uh, I feel like it, it runs a little long. I mean, it, it wasn't a problem for me. I, I hate long shoes, but it wasn't. It didn't feel horrible. But I feel like maybe I could have gone down half a size. I don't know. I have to try it out because you know sometimes when you go down half a size, it's too tight. Yeah, plus with a knit, you, you a lot of times you feel like you can go smaller. Yeah, so maybe try half a size down, but if you're scared, then a true to size is good to go. You should be fine with true to size. Mm -hmm. uh, Width-wise, I would say uh, it's it's on the normal side. A little bit narrower than normal width, but 
um, it wasn't super narrow like mm-hmm. what KDs are or whatever. So there's that. Uh, there's not a lot of toe space, the dead space in the toe area. But um, when I was tightening down, tightening it up. When I was tightening down the laces, it did, you know, scrunch up just a little bit, which I did not like. I don't like that. Uh, too much, but uh, I feel like they could have made the, the fit in the midfoot section uh, just a tad bit um, tighter. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, yeah, fits pretty nice. Uh, okay, support. Support thing was very good. Of course, you have really nothing in the ankle, but you do have a pronounced outrigger, um, and it wasn't really un- un- in it. it wasn't really unstable in the cushion or anything. So support was good. Uh, the materials are a little stretchy, and when I was doing a really hard cross, I would feel just a little bit, mm. but nothing crazy bad. Like yeah. not even as bad as the flying at hyperdunks. It's still a really strong supportive upper. I feel like, but maybe if you're like a bigger dude, uh, I'm not super heavy. So if you're a little bit heavier, then it might be a little bit of an issue, mm-hmm. but still nothing uh, horrible. You know what I'm saying? So um, that that was good. Lateral containment wasn't bad. And um, lockdown, of course, was good too. I didn't really have any heel slippage, and like I just said, lateral containment was good too. It wasn't bad, so uh, there's right. that. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's touch on weight. I feel like it'll be pretty light, right? Yeah, it seems 11 ounces. Light. Ooh, 10.86 ounces. Pretty light. Pretty damn. That's actually really light. Yeah. Does it feel light? Yes, it feels super light on foot, and. Um, the knit feels super thin and very soft and really nice on foot. So, uh, and traction is really good and mm-hmm. cushion is responsive. So, very light feeling shoe. Yeah. Um, durability. It should be okay, right? Yeah, it seems you know pretty durable. The only thing I don't like is the compression marks. Yeah. I mean, I just I hate compression marks. But I feel that I feel like sometimes that's what you need because that's actually the air or whatever coming out of the cushion right something like that you know i'm not sure um but it compresses yeah and, but it, they, you know a lot of a lot of these foams have that because especially do they paint over the foam yeah you know that doesn't help but um yeah anyways moving on to ventilation good good very nice time nice all right um now uh, aesthetics i like it yeah these are dope. This, is, this is fire Shout yeah. out to Under Armour for making a dope looking shoe. Very nice. Yes, very nice looking shoe. So there's that. Um, how much the money? It says on the box MSRP 115. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So that's not bad. It's actually the same price as the UA Dry 4, but this has a nice knit material. Mm-hmm. So UA is not, you know, jacking up the price just because it's knit. You know what I'm saying? Which is dope. Which, which, which is where they should stay. They should stay being, um, you know, that's what that's kind of how they built their their basketball name is having good quality good performers for good price you know yes and if they could add aesthetics aesthetics to that which yes. they're, they're starting to do they could be you know they could be it a problem be the next level thing yeah you know what i'm saying so for 115 bucks which is really cheap and basically is a budget model it's an amazing ass performer it, and it can also be like 140 bucks and i wouldn't be mad at it you know yeah. that's how amazing these perform and uh it, it, i feel like if you're a guard and you like a really responsive shoe but like uh, soft knit upper and really good traction responsive cushion then you're really gonna enjoy this shoe I love playing in this shoe and it's just nothing I, I can't really say anything bad about this shoe it does yeah. every category really really well if not uh, perfectly and it does it for a really cheap price and it actually looks dope guys yeah. So, uh, shout out to Under Armour, shout out to Connor Livingston, dude. Uh, I like how they put a little baby UA logo. Yeah. Like, don't don't blaze us out with the logo. I don't like logos in general. I mean, the, 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 the Nike swoosh is one thing. It's just very... It looks dope. <laughs> it's part of this the aesthetic of the shoe. Yes. But, you know, I, I feel like Adidas and Under Armour, like, you know, it, just, just, just kill the logo a little bit. Yeah. But anyways. Yes. Yeah, so, shout out to Under Armour for making a dope ass shoe. And shout out to Connor Livingston. The plug thanks for always showing the love but anyways these are an amazing performer and when they come out you should definitely copy it so there you go that's it thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next one later peace